All right, I think I'm prepared. Got music ready. Just drank a whole cup of hot chocolate. It's 12:40 a.m., and I will attempt to do this all in three to four hours. For the next three to four hours. Then again, I still have to like take breaks in between to do like processing stuff. But anyways, hey guys, my name is Tor, and welcome to another Let's Make It. Uh, 48, and I will be trying to do 49 and 50 in the same time span, not really recording. Uh, for all three of these, I'll be recreating items from the Legends, but I'm separating them into tiers, so that's how I distinguish how I... That's how I can justify the fact that they're different tutorials. I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with it. I cannot think of three different ideas. But I'm gonna be trying to recreate certain uh, various item effects, and the first one will have the most items because there are the simple ones, and the last ones will be like, the other two will be like three items. I'm checking this pop on my list here. So today we're gonna be recreating, or, well, trying to be recreating because this is a learning experience. Verdant Barrier, Rage Knife, Spectre's Cowl, Hexec Alternator, and Warren's Mail. The only one I'm worried about is Rage Knife because I have not figured out how to convert Critical Strike or Critical Hit Rate. I think it's Critical Hit Rate. If it's Critical Strike damage, I am gonna be. Yeah, it's Critical Strike Chance. It's only Critical Strike Chance. This damage is affected by Critical Strike modifiers. I don't know what that means, but we're just going to be trying to do the Critical Strike Chance one. I, I was worried it was going to be Critical Strike damage, but it's not. Anyways, why is my song lagging? Why is my song so laggy? Oh, it's because I have multiple, like, things up. Because, like, I'm using a different monitor, I'm using multiple windows here. I'm getting off topic. The song I'm listening to is Telehe because... I haven't listened to a Toho song in a long time, and I want to listen to one, this one for a while. I haven't listened to it. Anyways, with that out of the way, we can start recreating. Now I'm going to assume we only need passive states. My song is still lagging. I'm going to assume we still need just passive states. I think some of them do need buff... Well, actually no, some of them definitely do need buff and states core. Buff and states core and auto passive states are going to be the name of the game here. I do have the items pulled up in the League of Legends wiki. Maybe the League of Legends wiki is lacking everything. Uh, we're going Verdant Barrier first, I think. Verdant Barrier. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's read it. Unique Adaptive. Killing a unit grants 0.3 bonus mad distance up to a maximum of 9. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna... Hmm. How do we do, how do we create a permanent magic resistance effect? I could try to use a Yanfly or Yanfly take some tricks to base it off of, but that just sounds like copying, which I I did try to do like a lot. I, I did usually do a long time before, and sometimes I do reference tips and tricks, but usually I don't really copy stuff at this point. I'm, this might be surprisingly the one I have to forego, but maybe I should start on, on a different one. Warden's mail looks easier. Warden's mail. Every incoming instance of post mitigation bases damage. So it has to be basic attack. It's reduced by 5. Plus 3.5 per 1000 maximum health, maximum 40% reduction each. The 40% reduction scares me a little bit. Can we just. Can we, let's do a simpler one. Let's do Spectre's Cow. Spectre's Cow is definitely easier. After taking damage from a champion, gain 150% base health regeneration for up to 10 seconds. Duration increases with subsequent champion damage taken. Okay, yeah, this one's easier. So, Buff and State's core has that whole spiel about... Spiel? It's not the, it's not the point. It's not the word here. Uh, it does have a feature where you can... I'm gonna pull up Buff and State's core. I'm gonna pull up the... In, not, not in RPG Maker, just in... Uh, plugin... The wiki. The Antifly wiki. I was thinking maybe we could use uh, for the... Um, what's it called? Verdant... Barrier. I was thinking we can use the uh, Magi Soul Stealer plugin from EM5, but mm. okay. Let's see. Isn't there? 
Is it skill? It can't be skill core. Reapply add turns. Oh, no, re reapply reset turns. Wait, no. Wait, is it? Is it? Wait, Spectacal increases. So not reset. Increases with subsequent champion damage shaken. Okay, we can start with that. Spectre's cowl. Uh, cowl is like a like a hood thing, right? So if we can find like a hooded, mm, I think there's like there's like a really basic one. Actually, we can use one of these. Hmm, which one looks the most spectrally? Kind of like this white one, kind of like a ghost, I guess. Room of battle end because of course. Uh, Turn duration. It says 10 seconds and uh, we're gonna do a conversion system here. Uh, 10 seconds in our game will be uh, 2 seconds per turn. So we'll be sending it to 5. Not 55, jeez. Okay. 5. Turn end. 10 damage from a champion. 106% base health. Oh, actually, yeah. That's That should be simple. 150% base health regeneration. So I know League of Legends has like a whole deal where you do regen HP over time anyways. In this case, we'll just be putting 1.5% HP regen. Let's treat 1% HP regen. We should write that down. Um, um, conversion chart. Two seconds equals one turn. For tutorial. Uh, 1% HP regen equals base health regen. I'm not sure what it is in League of Legends. I think it's like, I think it's flat health in League of Legends. So it's like, maybe like 10 or like 20. It's obviously different for some things. So we're just gonna have this effect here. I should probably copy this because I think we're gonna need another one where it's spectral cow activation. Or like, like, just like a passive state, you know? We need no expiration for this one. And then, we're gonna have custom react effect. If... This is HP effect. Do we have something that can help us here? So we need straight up damage. Um, but this is HP effect. Oh no, this is before the dot, right? This is? No, it's after. This is capital effect. And value is greater than zero. Though in League of Legends, it's always at least one, you know? Uh, user. It's gain state, right? Gain state. It's gain, right? It's add? I forgot already. I'm, 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 I'm drawing blanks here. 35. Some react effects. Actually, that should be it. Like, like it's literally that simple. Well, this, I, I say that, but we still gotta check if it works. You know, I think it's like this. It's, it's lowercase here, actually. Um, we're gonna probably make an, a League of Legends. Let's do it right now. Uh, let's have a little bit of fun while we're here. I know we're like. What, 10 minutes in? 10 minutes in. Uh, this might take an hour to already just by itself, but we're gonna try to make Ash. Because uh, I have one one time a long time ago I did try to make characters. Uh, but it was just merely for a I, I was gonna try to make like a League of Legends, like RPG sort of deal. It was interesting. Alright. Now to choose an outfit that fits Ash, and I'm gonna be honest, uh... We'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh... 
Like, I'd like her to wear, you know, let's pick a word out. It's like black with yellow accents. I don't know what color her eyes are, but it doesn't really matter. I say that and then I go search up Ashley Legends so I can, like, check her uh, splash art. You cannot see her eyes like this. Uh, are those blue eyes? Those blue, eyes. blue eyes. Blue eyes. Dang it. Let's look at that. Uh, I mean, I don't think we really need to change anything else. Like, I think we, um, we're not we're not intending to like have the most detailed thing. Yeah, her attire is mostly dark and yellow, but it's not black, so we'll go like a gray. That's all we need. I'm not putting any more work into this. We, we gotta, we gotta get to the actual tutorial after all. I know I called it Ash Law and not just Law. Which is unfortunate, but... Some of the images used for this song's video is kinda intimidating. And by that, I mean kinda scary. She will be known as... Do I have an archer here? No. Valiant Victor. I think I may, I'll probably use that one already. I think I used that for Suguri. Questionable Queen. There we go. There we go. That's kind of fitting, actually. Uh, we don't have to worry about weapon, actually. Uh, I'd give her a bow, but she don't need no bow. Okay, pass the state. Now we can get to the meat of things. It's 53, right? 34. Not even close. Thanks, game. I don't want to blame the game. Uh, we're gonna make it so instead it's Ash. It's a bunch of HP. Uh, I think it's Ash Law. She only needs basic attacks. Uh, I'm gonna give her 500% hit rate because, well, the only way you can miss in League of Legends is getting blinded. I think, technically, unless you miss your skill shots, of course, <laughs> which I do all the time. <laughs> like, no kidding. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not kidding. That's, that's kind of the harsh reality of it. Anyways, going back to Ash here. I think I hit okay. Did I hit okay yet? Yeah, I hit okay. I don't know why I went back. Uh, we should have the pass stay on. I, if not, then I'll go fix it. I don't like the fact that it takes so long to load it. By the way, the song I'm listening to is called Cloud Over the Flowers, Flowers Over the Moon. It's a really nice song uh, when you listen to it. I'm not sure about the lyrics. I haven't really read the lyrics too much into it. Okay, we're gonna need to make her do more damage. How about a hundred? That sounds right. Please work. First try, first try. That'd be great. Well, we gotta do the reapply add turns, right? We still gotta do that, right? We're not done after this. Uh, that lag means it probably didn't work. So, uh, you know what? If you're being un uncooperative, if you're being uncooperative, song, undefined is not a function. Okay, you took me that long to tell me undefined isn't a function. How dare you, sir? Okay, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're moving you back here. 
but you are just... Should I just pop up an MP3? I think I kind of want to just use an MP3. It might just be faster and be less tiring. Okay, undefined is not a function. That means that we definitely did something wrong here. Uh, could you tell? Oh, this one. Yeah, this one. This one. I think this is the one where we do that. It does HP effect and value is greater than zero. Yeah, I forgot about that part. The parentheses definitely matters here. Will we have time to do all of these five? I think once we get we once we like you know get him, get a move in, maybe we'll be able to get all five in in an hour and a half. Uh, I hope it only is an hour an hour and a half. How dare you, sir? Okay, we gotta get something straight here. We, we gotta get something straight here. Uh, Aegis, you're not gonna help. You're not. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to help me. Um, is this HP not, effect not a thing? It has to be a thing, right? It looks right. <laughs> I mean, it looks right. Okay, we're we're going to some tricks because I need help. <laughs> uh. Here's a here's already this is H. Uh, huh, it is. I, I did it right. Technically, I don't see the problem. Is custom react effect now? Oh, it's definitely add state then. It has to be add state. It's gotta be add state. If it's not, if it's not the the HP effect, it has to be add state. Durr, apparently. <laughs> it did not add the state. It added it to himself. Okay, I forgot. React. Nice. I I love forgetting things. It's target. My bad. Um. Also, we should lower their attack power because uh, they're gonna they're gonna destroy Ash next turn. <laughs> I mean, the Ash will destroy the Ash next turn. Speaking of Ash, uh, Ash is a character in Time Heroes just now. I know that because I spent like an hour and a half uh, playing Heroes. Okay, we got to work. Got some regen. And it added the turns. Okay. I think that's all we need. I, is there a way to like add like a, a different number of turns? Because I feel like adding the entire turn counts is too much. <coughs> oh, I should be looking at buff and state score for this. Um. Uh, let's try it temporarily. Let's check the time. 18 minutes. Let's check. Let's check if we can do it like our own way. Okay. How about if user is state affected 35? Uh, is there a script called add turn to Haspy, right? Oh, that's right, I don't know how to do that. Um... <laughs> oh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go all the way back. Okay, we're gonna set it to three turns because... By golly. Um... So, three turns only. I can also full screen this now that uh, my music's out of the way. And as you can tell, it's lagging a lot less. <laughs> okay, three turns. Mm -hmm. Gonna do some healing. 
in our attack, and it increases by 30 turns. I think that's fine. I think we can go with that. I think Spectre Cal is done. Uh, I should probably mention that you can call me skills passive effect instead of just passing effective, pa putting the passive effect on the characters themselves. But we'll s I'll write it down. I'll write it down. I need some notes. BT dubs. BTW. Uh, it is more recommended to put these passive effects onto a weapon slash armor. But passive states are fine too. Wait. But adding them directly to the actor is fine too if you want. Smiley face. That's how I like it. Okay, let's do Hextech Alternator. This one is one of the easier ones. Damaging an enemy champion deals 50 to 125 based on level. Bonus magic damage. I am very excited to do a based on level, though I'm not sure about the 40 second cooldown. Hextech Alternator. What does it look like? Is it like a, it's like a time thingy? So, maybe a clock? Hourglass. <laughs> uh, I don't have any other ideas. Okay, um... Oh, it says core? Yeah, it's up to you again. Okay, I have a four damage... No... Yeah, actually... React effect? Custom confirm. Custom react? User add. I don't know what I'm doing. Value plus equal. React is not the right one. Why did I use react? It's confirmed, isn't it? It's confirmed. It's respond. It's not respond. It's establish. And after damage execution occurs. I think we're going to confirm. Establish. Confirm. Maybe we should get a good idea of what the damage is first, but... Yeah, let's do that. Alright, Ash, how much damage you- well, this Ash, how much damage you gonna do? Uh, I also kinda regret giving that Ash 50 HP, but oh well. 63? Wow, you're really slacking on damage. Maybe you should get some more items, and not build tank. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, Hexic Alternator, value plus equals. It's about 63, right? Plus equals 100. Let's try that first. If it doesn't work, then we'll go back to the drawing board. I do you want to test it out first? 36. I'll hit apply once we get things settled in. How dare you! There, oh yeah, okay, it works. Okay, okay. Good. That's very good, actually. My problem here is the based on level one. Um, it says 50 to 125 based on level. So we're gonna change that. Uh, it says 50 to 125 based on level. Bonus magic damage. I'm not sure we can do bonus magic damage. Yeah, the bonus magic damage might be bad. We can definitely not do bonus magic damage. So maybe we'll do... Okay, let's think about it. Uh, I know there's a tips and tricks for... Sister of League of Legends? No, um... Yenfly... I think it's called the, the barrier thing from Mega Man. No... No... 
You know that, that barrier thing from Mega Man? It's the, 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 the water barrier, right? Water. I think it's literally called water barrier. No, it isn't called water barrier. Wasn't there one called water barrier? Mega Man? Fire Aura? No. No. Bubble Wrap, there we go. Oh boy, cooldown is... Is there a last... Animation user add states. Thanks. I think you need two states for it based on this. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Spectre's Cal almost. Custom confirm effect, but we're gonna do the level thing first. User level times five. Wait, no, I think I said basic attack to, to like solid damage. Also, I just realized that we didn't. I didn't do basic attack on the other one. Oops. Okay, 68, and then we're gonna increase her level to 99, and hope we do a ton of damage. I, just, just absolutely phenomenal amounts of damage. I assume we're gonna be looking at a 99 times 5 plus 63 here, and look at that. That is pretty strong. Okay, we got the, we got it kind of down. I know it's not perfect, but it's, 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 it's what we can deal with. Uh, let's try to, let's try to recreate it as well. We gotta go back to just cast, but just cow actually. Taking, nope, that one's different. That one's after taking damage from a champion in general. Okay, we're good with a stretcher's cowl. The hextric alternator is the one that might be confusing. Um, since we're adding it as a different one, we want to use Log Horizon uh, Thornbind Hostage, right? I like that the fourth result is the end finds, but maybe that's because it knows. What is custom deselect effect? Okay. We'll do it like this, target, gain, HP. So I'm using uh, Dormine Hostage as example. Minus U, well, we're gonna use a variable. Variable damage equals user level times five. Uh, to make it more, um, you know what? To make it more, we're gonna do it like this. So it's 50 to 125 based on level, right? So it's that's 50 times user level. No, it isn't. It's 50 plus X. Okay, it's okay. Okay, we gotta think about this. 50 plus user level would be 51, not 50. Um, so usually it'd be, okay, let's think about this, it's 75 plus, once, 50 plus 75 is 125, it's 75, 70, 75 to 11, 99, 98, actually, 98. Am I gonna do multiple make, let's make it for this specific item, or specific, the specific tutorial. I think the other ones might be easier, but that's, maybe that's because I'm doing less. So, 99 is a 
about 0.75. I don't know why it's flashing so much. I apologize for anyone who has any, uh, uh, basically bad reaction to flashing lights. I sincerely apologize. Uh, my plus user level times 0.75. And we're gonna math. Uh, no, we're gonna math seal, so we can raise that up to a positive number. Yeah, floor is the bottom one. And we're gonna subtract damage. And we're gonna use Dormant Hostage again to show uh, target dot start damage pop up. Um, I will, um, I'm gonna do a little test to see what we need a clear result for, if we do need it. If we don't, then we're not gonna input it at all. Do we need another parentheses? We're probably not gonna add it as magic damage specifically. We're gonna include it as just normal damage. So it's not gonna... <sighs> okay. I missed! How could you, Ash? You have... Oh wait, actually... That was 125. Well, yeah, that's 125, right? It was 551. Wait, no, 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 that's because I changed it. That's... That's actually perfect. Like... I, I, like, the original calculation is 50 to 125 base level, right? That means, despite the fact we're at level, like, what, 99? It still works out. I mean, I think at level 1, you do 51 damage, which is, like, a minor gripe. But, actually, that works out. The problem is the cooldown thing. The cooldown thing might be a little bit complicated to explain. I am gonna do it, though, because accuracy. However, 40 second cooldown in our terms would be, um, <laughs> a lot. 20 turns is quite a bit in RPG. So yeah, it does 51. Um... Actually, we might be able to do bonus magic damage. Actually, no, let's do 4 to 9, and then like... Would it still do 125? Because if so, I'd be very impressed. I'd be very impressed if it's still 125. I know we're taking 33 minutes here. I'd be very impressed if it's still 125. Hundred twenty four, very close. Um I think we can change that. I think we can skew it a little bit. Um Okay, okay, I'm gonna reset your calculator because you are you're burning my eyes too. You you you, you, you gotta stop that. You you gotta you gotta chill. You got, you got, you got chill, calculator. You are, why are you still doing that? Why are you still doing that? I'm gonna need you to chill. Why are you doing that? Stop. Okay, you know what? Calculator, since you're being uncooperative, I'm using Google. That's how much I don't like you right now. I'm using Google. Okay. Okay, what is it? Um, the calculation was 75.99, right? 76. 
divided by 99. So, we just increased to 0.76. That, 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 that should have been easy to figure out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to explain my formulas in tutorial actually, because <laughs> no one's gonna understand why I did uh, why I'm doing that particular formula. Yeah, it's 125. Let's do one again. A lot of math. A lot of math. Oh boy. I hate the fact that I don't go first, but it does do 50 damage, and I'm okay with that. Oh, but then we have to do something like this. Um, it's not res. What am I thinking? It's magic defense in this game. In this RPG Maker. Uh, we're gonna do this, and then I'm gonna- I'm not gonna put it in the actual tutorial, I'm gonna be like, oh, uh, if you wanna make it actually do bonus magic damage, you have to uh, subtract the entire formula by resistance. Or magic defense, sorry, magic defense. It's magic defense. Okay. And it's not correct. This is like this, right? Wait, no, isn't it different? It's about 0.76. Um... Yeah, it's 76. 798 levels of grill.
And then we had the cooldown too. Um, yikes. <laughs> um, maybe I won't. Uh... So I had to put a note where I just go like, oh, go to Yan Flies to, to send checks on Bubble Wrap to get a tutorial on cooldowns. Uh... Yeah, if you like to add a cooldown, refer to Yen Fly's Bubble Wrap TNT. To learn how to do so. No, you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're absolutely doing it. I'm not letting people get confused too much because they're already confused already. <sighs> All right. We're gonna copy the entire thing, but we are gonna make some changes. Their hex tech will be 37. Add state bubble wrap ID. Hex tech. I'll try to explain this as best I can in the tutorial. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, what do you need, actually? Okay, I don't think we need element core. I think we need battle engine core, though. This course is so useful, man. I never realized this. Uh, what that mean? Does that help us at all? Hex tech cooldown. The problem is, I never use. I use this like to tutorial the system checks once. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. Why do you do it twice though? Which is power up one actually. Power up two. Fifty-two. Again, there's a learning experience. Uh, 
Alright, time for the complicated stuff. Let's try it. I don't expect it to work because I had to follow the entire tutorial. But let's try it. Gosh dang it. We have a winner. Okay, it's not working. Um. But why is it work is it not working? That is the question. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I thought so. I thought so. It's always user and target. Cause that one was react effect and this one's user. I'm gonna assume this works now. By Joe. Nope. Why well, did I miss? So I don't know. Please hit. Okay. Okay. How many turns is it gonna take? How many turns is it gonna take, Ash? How many turns is it gonna take? Well, I'm gonna hope it takes three turns. Hey, it works. Oh, actually, I should probably test if attack works. Okay, it works. Uh... Some changes from Yenfine's bubble wrap tunes used to just confirm such react effect and removal of element implementation, but it's mostly the same. I kind of want to use this idea in my own game actually, because honestly, this actually looks like an actual pretty cool thing to have, like a cooldown on a state that just boosts your power. Like that sounds amazing. Though to be fair, it'd be very complicated, even though I have it readily available. All right, I think we can actually go to the next. The next the next item. Can you believe it? By Jove. I don't I gotta stop saying by Jove. Let's do one more and then we'll uh We'll end it off there. I think we'll be doing a part two for this one specifically. Um that is a bit concerning, but you know, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh I'm not gonna do rage knife, I'm saving that for I'm gonna save the big ones for next time. I am probably gonna record both of these. Uh 
parts of this particular tutorial in the same night though. Uh, the other ones, I don't know. Um, Warden's Mail, which one's down again? It's raised by 5, has 4% reduction each. Okay, I think we can do this one. This one should be easier. Uh, we don't need any special, like, we don't need a special um, state as a, as a base. Warden's Mail is in, it's like a piece of armor thing. This isn't, this isn't a removal one. Is there a way to check that's a basic attack? It has to be a way, right? Hand fly, some tricks. Come here, come on. Come on, come on. I don't know why I have to load it every time, because I keep um, doing wrong stuff and closing the tab. Basic attack. Um, Wit's End seems like it might work. Oh, there literally is a, a thing called This Is Attack. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and we're gonna use the Spectre Cal thing, thingamajig. Gonna, oh wait, no, not, not, not that one. Oh no, this one, this one. So it's technically Spectre Cowl. Attack. If this is an attack... There's gonna be a lot of calculations, but I'm actually completely fine with calculations. Like, um, I'd like to consider myself a math guy. Instead of an RPG guy, which sometimes has a lot of math, is reduced by five plus five percent. Okay, okay. Well, first off, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Um, var per equals value times zero point four. So forty percent uh, maximum reduction each is what we're looking at here. Um, We're gonna go 0.6, because we're gonna. It's easier to uh, calculate the total damage as opposed to uh, reduced damage. Their block max equals value times 0.6. Okay, and then we're gonna actually go value minus equals five. There produce equals five plus three point. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Um, users dot max h max HP, right? Times divide by one thousand, and then we round it down. Five user message HP. If it's 5000 HP, we're gonna reduce it to the five. Five times five. So it's like 15, 20 each. That's right. Um, the only thing we do need to do, however, is. Uh, So we're actually getting a floor here because we want to round down. And we're gonna have value minus minus equals uh, reduce. However, 
if value is less is greater is less than max so if it's 100 damage reduces all the way for some reason to like 30 if 30 is less than 60 then value will be uh, we'll be setting value straight up equal to max So we're going to reduce all of this because it's not going to be working. So what did she do? Like 60 damage? 100 damage? This is like 100 damage, right? Please work. Please work. I need to, I need to get on the next recording. I think it exploded. Yep, it exploded. Okay. What's wrong here? It's this attack, and this is HP effect in val- Nope! Oh, I already got that wrong. That's embarrassing. Nope, I know I got that. Their max equals value times 0.6, okay. Their reduce equals 5 plus 3.5 times math floor. User max HP divided by 1000. Okay, first of all, target max HP divided by 1000. Let's hit that first. So we know where the undefined is. Yeah, we're gonna finish off this part one with these ones, and then I'm gonna be again recording the next two straight after. Let's make it is I thought I'd be able to do three on one night. By Jove, it's not working. Okay, it's definitely not that. I can tell you that much. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it just because? Isn't it just because of that? Is that just it? Because it just is undefined. It doesn't say anything else. I think it's just because it's like a just a coding error. Nine. And what happens if I? Um, I don't have it. We're gonna do some math here. <laughs> um, dang it. Okay, 5 plus 3.5. So it'd be 5 damage, right? It should be 5 damage. 104. Okay, it is 5 damage. Dude, I'm actually loving this math stuff right now. Like, I'm getting a, a major, like, I, I, I'm loving this so much. Um, let's see what happens if we, if we put 99, it's not gonna be working as well, right? Let's check what our damage is um, at 12, level 12, because we have 1000 HP. Eighty-one point five. There shouldn't be. Oh, it's because of the point five, right? We're gonna math floor, math floor. <laughs> I find that humorous, and I do not know why. Thank you for still recording, Audacity. I appreciate it. I'm assuming I'm, I cut out a little bit at some point, but...
Is that right? I could have sworn it was like something else. I could have sworn it was like... Well, it's doing flat damage now, so like... Okay, first of all, I'm changing this to like flat 100. So with, if this is the case, it should round it up to like uh, 60. Seventy-eight. Does that mean it doesn't? Oh, it's cause okay, it's five plus three point five times five, right? Three point five times five is about fifteen to twenty-ish. Uh, that's about twenty reduction. Twenty-two-ish would be what it is. What happens if we raise our HP to an astronomical, astro, uh, astronomical, astronomical amounts? There's not an astronomical amount. Uh, is 9999 the max? <laughs> I think it changed down core engine, actually. It didn't work. Oh, because I'm not Rune Fire. I'm Ash. Well, I am Rune Fire. I'm not an imposter, and this is definitely not the imposter talking. <laughs> Should I put that in the highlight reel? I'm gonna put that in the highlight reel. <laughs> I swear I don't do I don't I don't do highlights, knowing that they're gonna be in the highlight reel. I swear. So it should be sixty damage. We didn't increase our HP. Okay, what's wrong here? Change HP is not parameter change. By golly, I don't know why I thought that. Change HP is healing, Rune Fire. Can you please remember that for once in your life? Gosh dang it, Rune Fire. How could you? I had faith in you. But nope, just had to just had to forget. Okay, no 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 no. Did this work? We're still at 64. Okay, we're breaking the cap. This is kind of funny because we have to break the HP cap just to do this. Please work. I, I beg of you, please work. Please work, otherwise I'd do something else. I don't want to do that. Well, I do. I, I kind of have to. We're gonna start 999. Okay, we gotta save. Hmm, I need to start thinking of new terms to call things, because calling it 9999 9 every single time is annoying. Maybe I'll make it a habit to call it Quad 9. That'd be nice, if I can remember that. But I won't. Like Quad 9, Septa 9. It's still 64, because we have still 9900. Okay, I think we have to use core engine for this. Like they have to have like a plug-in thingy.
don't know how that works. That is not gonna help me. That is not gonna help me. Um, the fact that I have to scramble just so I can figure out how to reduce the damage is really, honestly, super sad. The fact there's no stat plus for allies is just kind of annoying. Like, there's no, there's no ally increase plugin or like script call. Like, I have to increase a weapon or armor. What the heck? <laughs> okay. We're getting into a bow. Ten thousand. Uh, because I think Ash can only use swords right now. A sword. I legitimately almost had something different, and I don't know what. She can use swords. Okay. That's that's that's, that's fine. That's fine. Dagger. It's a dagger. It's, it's a dagger. It's it's it's, it's dagger. It's a dagger. It's a dagger. It's a dagger. I legitimately forgot what I said earlier. Uh, it was around an hour mark, right? I said something earlier that I liked, but I forgot what it was. Please work. Please work. I've tried so long just to ensure this might. We're still at 9,999 HP. We're still at 999. How's that possible? HP. I'm just drawing blanks. I don't use this part of core engine, okay? <laughs> I apologize for that. It's gonna be HP, isn't it? Please. Please. I'm just trying to test. I'm not even gonna use this in the tutorial. Please, I'm trying to test this. <laughs> and you're not being cooperative. How could you do this to me? If this doesn't work, it's because of the- it's because of Core Engine. It's because of Core Engine. Core Engine's not being cooperative. That's what- that's what's happening. I'm just trying to do something here, and you're not being cooperative. What's the problem? But this isn't true. I mean, it is true. It's supposed to be true. Is it Battle Engine Core? It's not Battle Engine Core. For some reason, Core Engine is just not being cooperative. There has to be a reason. I like how the cap is at 98 and not 99. That just makes so much sense, and also no sense at all. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. We are still 9999 HP. Wait, no, but our MP, however, is increased. That implies that I did something wrong. And HP is still un not increased. I, I I don't understand what's the problem. What is the problem?
Okay, you know what? In a tutorial, I'm just gonna say I tried to test it. I couldn't test it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just that's just literally just what's gonna happen here. I'm getting allergies. Oh no. I have to record more of this later. Okay, I think for now, I think we're done. I, 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 do any of you else think it's done? I think it's done. I think it's done. I, I cannot handle. I cannot handle it. I legit cannot handle it. I'll sneak up find that highlight of whatever I said earlier. I did not remember what it was, but I think it was golden. Something about it was okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's. it's yeah, this should work. All right. With that said, this let's make it over because the next one's gonna be coming soon. All right. See you guys. Stay safe. Bye.